Hey everybody, I am excited to see you. I've got something that I wanna show you that I discovered. It's something that's really cool, but it came about because of something that was just a little bit bad. You see, about two weeks ago, I started not feeling very good. I had a headache and I was achy and I was exhausted. So the year is 2020. So what do you think that I had? Yeah, I had COVID-19 virus, or as my husband calls it, the COVID. And my friends call it the Coco. And my nieces and nephew call it the Kung Fu Flu. I think it's because it packs a punch. hey -ya! Anyway, so yes, I've got the COVID. And today marks the end of my 14 day quarantine. And I am feeling so much better. I had it rather mild was not even as bad as the real flu, but some people are really suffering with it. You may know someone that has the virus or perhaps you've even experienced it. Well, I've got a friend, her name is Rhonda. She's the producer here at High Gas Fee. And she suggested that maybe I do some artwork while I am getting better. I have to say there were a few days that I didn't feel like doing anything but sleeping. But as the days wore on, I thought maybe I should pick up some artwork and do it. Maybe it would help pass the days. Plus, we have been studying about a lot of artists that have gone through a lot of sicknesses and were still able to create incredible masterpieces. For example, Henry Matisse was confined to a wheelchair after having cancer, but that didn't stop his creativity. Instead of standing at an easel and painting, he would lie in his bed and draw, sometimes even drawing on the walls. Sometimes he would just sit in his wheelchair and cut out gorgeous pieces of paper in all shapes and sizes and arrange them just so. Even from his sickbed, he would create. And then there was Frida Kahlo. She was bedridden for months after a trolley car accident. She was in pain much of her life because of the accident, often using a wheelchair to get around. But that didn't stop her from painting many self-portraits, often looking at a mirror hung over her bed and painting on an easel fashioned by her father to fit on top of her bed. Andy Warhol was only eight years old when he got sick with a disease called St. Vetus's Dance. Being confined to his bed, his mother would give him art lessons. He loved it and would draw all day long. This time of sickness for him planted a seed of creativity that stayed with him the rest of his life. And then one of my very favorites is Johnny Erickson Tata. As an energetic young lady, she made the mistake of diving into some shallow water and she broke her neck. She became paralyzed from the neck down. Despite her disability and with a lot of hard work, she began to create breathtaking pieces of art using just a paintbrush in her mouth. My illness was very minor compared to what these artists went through. I just had the COVID, but these artists inspired me. I decided to take my friend Rhonda's advice and do some artwork while I was sick. She introduced me to this little watercolor palette. It's a traveling watercolor palette, and in it is a very special brush. It's called an agua brush. Here's the bristles, but in the handle, there is water. So I wasn't going to need a cup of water. Really, all I needed was the little palette, my brush, and some watercolor paper. It was a great suggestion from her because I could do this while I was laying in bed resting. So I began to paint, and I did quite a few in the last 14 days. I'd love to show them to you. Perhaps you are sick in the bed. You can still be creative. There are things lying around your house that you could use, a pencil, maybe some scissors, something as simple as a paper towel roll, or even a rock that you find outside. Be creative, be unique, 
and create something beautiful. And remember, you really need to stay safe and stay healthy.